with beer. Konnichiwa, oh. podcast kiddies. Oh, it's Kitty Cat and Cat with beer. Welcome again to the podcast. It's been a long time since you last joined us on the podcast. I was enjoying myself. Just taking it easy, just relaxing by the pool, just moment. having a hit of badminton. But now we're it back by the pool for more either. of the podcast. How are you, Kathy? Hey, Kat? Lady Beard. Wonderful to have you here. We Thank were like you. letting you off the, the the moment here. What pool are you <laughs> relaxing by? We're in Japan. It's cold now. Um, it, there's um, it was actually a talent pool. Oh, I see where you went. Oh, hey, hey, hey. That's where we found Cardin oh, Kagami. Yes, our talent today, Cardin. The talent Kagami. pool. Welcome again, Cardin Kagami. Oh, thank you so you much for here. having me. Please, one more time, introduce yourself to our wonderful yeah. listeners and viewers on YouTube. <laughs> Hello, or nice to meet you. My name is Karen. Thank you so much for having me today. Hey! Oh, it's very really nice yeah. of you to say that our viewers are wonderful. That's a lovely yeah, adjective to put in front of you. Of course they are. Thanks for tuning in yeah, and listening to our wonderful voices. There is no podcast without you. Thank you very much, exactly. listeners. Wow, thank this you is so fantastic. much. We're now over episode 30, which is something that makes me very happy. We're we over 30, are we? We're over 30 now. Oh, you're yeah, right. Oh, yes, I'm wrote a number at the top of my script. This yes, is if you this are amazing. over 30, I read that on Instagram today. If you're over 30, you should at least have one fork in your drawer cutlery that you don't like and whenever you grab that fork you kind of angrily look at the fork going oh that's the fork I don't like hang on just a second what did you say to I, me? I, I just it, like the random things that the internet pops out at you so yeah since we are uh, so now everyone who's listened to the podcast for over 30 times or for the 30 episodes you should have a fork in your cutlery drawer that you don't like and wherever you accidentally pull out that fork you you, you squint at the fork Anyways, moving over to Karen. I need to buy an ugly who fork. Is our, who is our guest our today? Guest you today. are a professional voice actress in Japan and abroad. Mm. <laughs> bilingual, bicultural, uh, yeah, multi exceptional <laughs> voice actress. <laughs> right. Not just a voice actress, you're also an idol. Dancing the dance of the idol. You're Singing a DJ. The song, dancing the dance, DJ. Scratching the, the, the scratch of the scritchy scratch. You, 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 you're Californian. You're Japanese. <laughs> you, you, you're a student and you're a professional. What's a thing Karin does not do? Bake? Do you bake cakes? Ah, no, I'm really bad at. Okay, one I'm thing. There's she, only one thing she don't do in this place. Ate, she ate the Christmas cookies I baked yeah. for everyone in the studio. Yeah, it was, it was so good. Oh, thank you so much. We can have another one later. Oh, as a you're treat once we, go, once we finish the Yay. podcast. Um, but today's everything. program is actually for you guys in case you are interested in voice acting yourself. Now, yeah. we all have different levels and different types of voice acting experience, and we're going to share that with you guys. Yes. Keep notes, take notes, get ready to take all the notes. Let's do it. Every mm -hmm. note. Right. With your ugly fork. You can dip it in some <laughs> ink and use some ugly fork. It's like, grab the ugly fork, take notes with your ugly fork, or your ugly pen, maybe. It's fine as long as you start to take all the notes. Let's do it. Let's do it. So Here how does one become a voice actor, ladies and gentlemen? Where does it start? Cardin, mm. how does one become a voice actor? <laughs> Tell the people. You. Give some advice, please. One of ah. the amazing things is that you said you taught yourself, yeah. which is really important for those ones listening right now because there's a, a plethora in Japan of very, very high class voice acting schools mm. and colleges and universities. Mm. And there's a lot of places where you can leave a lot of money to learn the skills to be a voice actress or a voice actor. But Karen just walked in and got a main audience job without all of these shenanigans. So tell us, how did you prepare yourself for that? Um, so I, I did... Um, try for like many auditions mm -hmm. and um and yeah yeah i just um i just um um try try hold for many many auditions and sometimes um i was like fail oh you failed a lot mm -hmm. yeah lot. and yeah it's it was like kind of like try and Try and error. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Right. So, in a percentage, mm -hmm. how how many times, if you went in ten times, how many times would you get rejected? 
Oh. Also 10 times? 10, yeah. Mm. And you still stood up and you kept going. Mm-hmm. How, Good job. Jettering, how many <coughs> auditions did you go to until you got your first gig? Um, like over 20? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Mm. But, um, but, but as I try, um, like first, like first time, um, I ever um, tried to be um, to participate in the audition. Um, there's like a um, first senko shorui. Ah, like the like, first stage, yeah, and then yeah, the yeah, second, yeah. like the second level. So yeah, you yeah. kind of go through the different levels, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. And um, for um, first stage, you have to make a voice sample by yourself um. and just just send uh, your like profile and oh. your pictures mm-hmm. um, to the um, voice acting agency mm. and that's the first stage and um, I get I got rejected so many times mm. but as I um, try trying and keep doing the same thing um, I I was I, I kind of like um, understood um, how to go to um the to get into second stage mm-hmm. so um you you there's definitely like a um kotsu point like a trick to, to it yeah yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. The, the so you you really have to research about mm-hmm. the agency mm-hmm. and you um it's i think it's effective that um you do a research and and you try to hit the what things that they are looking for? The requirements, yeah, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry. It's sorry, like a you job have to hunt. you have to research the agency, mm-hmm. not the show you're auditioning for. The agency. Yes, oh. first. That's please, please, like can you explain thing. further, please? You have to research. So, I'm going to go to ABC Voice Actors Agency. Mm-hmm. What do I need to learn about the agency in order to pass round one of auditions? Um, um, some, not all, but some agency, um. Or many does this um, audition every year, mm-hmm. once a year. Mm-hmm. So, um, so first you have to check when does the audition um, is going mm-hmm. running, and and like there in Japan, there's a lot of um, voice acting agency, mm-hmm. and they have um, different like characters. To it, so um, you research for well, what kind of voice actors they have and what kind of voice actors they don't have, mm-hmm. and you kind of choose where to. Oh, that's yeah, interesting. Send I your, yeah. Yeah. Whether I you see. fit in there mm-hmm. or whether you kind of something they might like yeah. and stuff. It sounds very much like finding a job, to be honest. You know, yeah. you have to kind of research the company you mm-hmm. are going into. You need to see what they kind of like. You need to know a little bit about the company mm-hmm. so they actually know, oh, you're just not coming for the sake of coming. You're actually coming because you want to be with us kind of thing. I woke up outside. I thought I'd just wander in and see what was going on. Um, if that's okay, um, to ask, so you didn't apply for a character, you went to first apply for a agency, is that correct? Yes. Right. Very interesting. There you go. All right, so so you auditioned for several agencies, mm-hmm. and then one of them said, yep, Karen, we'll have you. Mm-hmm. And then did they say, okay, we found you, Karen, now we have the perfect shows to put you into? Or was it a case of you said to them, all right, these are the kind of shows I want to do and then they went and found those for you to audition for. Oh, actually, I'm not, I'm not sure about that. Okay. Once you were in, once you were, yeah. once you were in, well, I guess so. Once yeah. you were in the agency, mm-hmm. what was the next part of the process from your perspective? Um. And then, um, um, apply to another audition. That's yeah. that's for um the actual anime characters. Uh, All right. That's so, the second yeah. step. Right? Yeah, okay, first okay. step, find yourself an agency. Hmm. Second step, then with the agency, you can apply for a character. That's actually a really good point to mention, especially in the entertainment industry for voice acting, for singing, for whatever. It is not really, freelance is not seen as something good. People here in Japan prefer if you have mm. an agency that will get and give you a manager so they have like some point of like, like interest. So, some people get get by freelancing, mm-hmm. but that's a rare case in mm-hmm. Japan. Generally, you have to have an agency. We all have an agency, right? 
Japan is a, in general, kind of favors institutions,、mm. you know, the company or the family、mm. or the government. Japan loves its institutions. An individual doing a bunch of individual things is kind of、mm. uh, stop、mm. that. Be in with under the umbrella of an institution. Yeah, it's kind of the point of trust as well, right? It's like, okay, if if this person, we don't know this person, if they mess up, do they turn up for work properly? All、mm. of that. But if they know the agency, and the agency has made a name、mm. for themselves, they're like, oh, we know this agency does things properly.、Mm. The managers reply to our email. Emails on time, that kind of stuff.、Mm. So they know what they're kind of signing up for, even though they might not know the person that's signing with them、mm. for a role.、Mm. So that's a, that's another thing to consider, that was guys. Well that yeah. Was so that that、well、that's a good step for you guys if you're interested in voice acting. First, see that you find yourself a good agency,、mm -hmm. and you are in a good agency because they let you voice act in English and in Japanese. That's that's really good, and. Then hopefully you、um, you can then head off to all the auditions and show your skills. So. So now on that point of the English and Japanese, which one of those two came first? Ah,、uh, Japanese.、Mm -hmm. Right. So you were doing you were auditioning in Japanese、mm -hmm. for the original Japanese voice of the、yes. characters, and then you got you got cast as your first character.、Mm -hmm. Then how did they say we'll have Cardin dub this character as well? How did that process、oh. happen? Oh. Oh, I'm also not sure, but、uh, when I when you are I, adorable, Karen. <laughs> Please continue. But um,、uh, the for the first audition, the um for the um、uh, when I applied to my agency, um, I had to um do a self introduction and also sing. So um, I chose to sing in English, and I did my self introduction in English,、oh. so they knew that I. Can speak a little bit of English, so、oh, just a little. You <laughs> can speak English. There you go. So you kind of make yourself stand out there. Yeah, I think. Yeah. Yeah, you're smart. Very smart. impressive. Smart move. Smart move. Throw us the manager、yeah. there. There you go. So you kind of make yourself stand out. You you knew that being bilingual gave you a unique standpoint.、Mm -hmm. How do you prepare for characters though? Hmm. Ah.、Uh, Do you get I, like a character sheet or a look of the character, or do you just、uh, go and not even know what they look like? Um, I got um character like the sheet, like ha, what what kind of character she is and、uh, what she looks like,、mm -hmm. and those kind of information I got. But um, for my um, for、um, Maho Chan from D4 DJ, um, which I'm. I'm giving a voice right now. Um, um, she was like, I I really didn't have much information when、mm. I started、um, voice acting.、Um, her role, and it's kind of like、um, we grew grew up together,、mm. and yeah, and as the as the story goes on, I I. Get more information、uh, about her and、um, understand more about her. So, so when I first、um, started voice acting,、um, Maho Chan,、um, it's it was really different from、mm -hmm. the from now.、Mm -hmm. So you kind of progress together、mm -hmm. with the first character,、yes. right?、Mm -hmm. And I mean, like that's a that's a wonderful miracle story because the first character for you was not a side character; it was、mm -hmm. actually a main、mm -hmm. character.、Mm -hmm. So、mm -hmm. you and Maho have grown together. Yes, in a way, right? <laughs>、oh. <laughs> that's quite lovely, <laughs> right? So you do actually, as a voice actor, you get a look of the character,、mm -hmm. and you get the the kind of character. But then the rest you learn as you go. In that、y、case, yeah, I think it's、um, unique to、um, like D four DJ.、Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, I think some sometimes、um, because they they the fans want to see like you grow through the animes and、um, experiences. So、um, it's it's kind of like、um, we, me and Maho are really connected.、Mm -hmm. Like、um, we have we share a similar personalities as Maho. So. So it's、um, for for the fans. You're, it's it's more fun to watch. Like、oh. I think the fans want to see you grow、mm -hmm. along with Maho. I yeah I think、mm -hmm. <laughs> do the so, fans tell you this or is that what you're just implying? Um, but I get a lot of um, 
comments mm. from my fans mm. um, that um, you you have you have improved so much mm. and I enjoy watching your DJ performances. Mm. So, okay, so, so the similar. fans know that you started out mm-hmm. and they're like cheering you up for like working hard and yeah. getting better every day. It's Ooh. similar to Idol Cuts at all, isn't it? When mm-hmm. the fans want to see yeah. you start at a certain level and then progress. Yeah, it's really similar. That's it, very interesting. Mm. Is that what makes D4D so so special, D4DJ? Is, mm. is that so are you the only one who started uh, like with without experience or others as well or is that just your your special ability? Um, um, for D four DJ, I think others as well. For mm-hmm. example, um, my um, my group is called Happy Around. Um, the member of Happy Around, um, including me, is are um, most of them are newcomer in mm-hmm. um, voice acting industry. Mm-hmm. So. So it's kind of like we are in the same situation, mm-hmm. and we, we like ishoni gambaru mm. together. You start that. Oh, that, that's really <laughs> idle, right? Yeah. That's really like that's that's let's, very idle. let's start here. Let's grow together. Yeah. Let's mm. get better. Mm-hmm. That makes me really want to watch the show. I'm gonna check this out. I yeah, hope that's you. Uh, we, somewhere. Were you into like electronic music and DJs before you started um, doing the show? Yeah. Um. I. Um, I didn't know, I I didn't, I knew nothing about DJ, to be honest, yeah, Mm -hmm. but um, I realized after um, I started learning about D4DJ um, um, and DJ in general, um, I... I realized that I have been listening to um, dance music, Ah. like, by not knowing. Without realizing it, yeah. 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 (laughs) Without putting a title to it. Mm -hmm. I yes, see. So I really enjoy. Oh, okay, DJing. cool. And so now you're DJing in like clubs, sorry, Kathy. Kat. Now you're DJing in clubs and, and whatnot. Ah, uh, yeah. Some sometimes like wow, the okay. like anime anime events. And okay, kind, I yeah, see. The, those kind of. That is lovely. After you. So, mm. Coming back to how to become a voice actor and mm. a voice actress. I'm doing the German thing. I'm being organized. I'll face the wall. <laughs> face the wall again. <laughs> no, seriously, though. Um, so how does your voice actor training to look like? You all started at the same point, right? Mm-hmm. How do you now train to become a bo- better voice actress? Do you have, like, oh. singing lessons, uh, dancing lessons, uh, uh, location lessons, uh, tongue twister lessons? Uh <laughs> I don't know. What's another braid, lesson, Kathy? Grade your other uh, groups, people you hair lessons. The hip hop, the, the rock, DJ and lesson. or roll. What kind of lessons are part of your let's grow and get better? Um, um for me, it's DJ and DJ and singing mm. and dancing. And of course, acting mm. as well. Yeah. What kind of acting lessons? What do they look like? Do you go la 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 myself for my practice um i like for example when i'm watching my favorite anime um i i was making the transcript for the um anime like for like the one scene and um after i i got that transcript um then I Did you delete the cell? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. From the anime mm-hmm. and try it by myself. Ah, so you would like oh, pick oh. a favorite character from a different anime show mm-hmm. and then you would tr- like write down what they said. Yes. Try on the audio off oh, yeah. and then you tried it one more time. Oh, that's interesting. Yeah. Oh, that's oh. a good pra- That is interesting. Oh, yeah, that's a good So strategy. would you mimic then how you heard them speak the first time or would mm-hmm. you change that? Um, first, I try to imitate mm-hmm. the voice actors, and um, then um, I, I think I, I recorded some of my voices and try to, like, be, try to sound like 
the voice actor, like、mm-hmm. the original voice actor. And yeah, that's how I learned <laughs> how to. That is fantastic. You are an industrious young lady.、Wow. That's fantastic. What anime would you, for example, what anime would you watch and see that voice I want to do and then try and be that voice? Can you give us some like role model anime, anime or anime、uh, voices? Um, 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 for voice actor, um, I'm, I'm really a big fan of. Miyuki Sawashiro san. She's a really、um, famous voice actor. Who has she voiced that people might know listening to the podcast? Um, Eto, Mine Fujiko from Lupin. Oh, wow.、Hey. Hey. Hey. Okay, that's a very different yeah, character.、Right. <laughs> okay. Holy moly, yeah. <laughs>、mm-hmm. um, uh, but、um, she, she is a type of voice actor that she, she has a wide range of.、Um, Acting.、Mm-hmm. So,、um, like, she does a character like Mine Fujiko, but she also does、um, Little Girl. She、uh, also、ooh. yeah voices Little Girl、mm-hmm. and Little Boy. So,、um, she can also voice Little Boys? Oh my god. Yeah,、gosh. Little Boys are all done by females.、Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, so. Any other famous characters that people maybe listening might know? Anything <gasps> from the top of your head? Sanshiro san. So, um, she, she also does the、um, narration for a news program. Wow!、Oh. She does a lot of things.、Yes. So, you would watch Lupin and turn off her voice and try to speak like her as like、yeah. Super Onesa? Super Onesa. Oh,、yeah. all, the, all the sister level. Very <laughs> industrious. I, I, I commend your industriousness,、mm. your approach to your career. That's fantastic. How to prepare for auditions? You said you just went for the audition for the agency.、Mm-hmm. Uh, how do voice actors train? Do you think there are d i f f e r e n c e between acting as a voice actress or acting as an actress for movies? Do you think there are differences or are there no d i f f e r e n c e anymore?、Ah, yeah, that's a really hard question.、Mm. Um, I think it's my opinion, but I think there's a difference because、um, for voice acting, you, you can only use your voice to express all these k i n d of emotions.、Mm, good point. Yeah, so. I, and for actors,、um, you can also use your, you have to use your facial、mm-hmm. expressions and your physical、um, expressions. So I think it's, it's different.、Mm-hmm. So、um, voice actors, you have to like, f- really focus on your voice to, to express your emotions.、Mm-hmm. But, but I think it's.、Um, To express your emotion through the voice, you also have to use your whole body. So、mm. it's, it's different, but、um, kind of similar. You can learn、um, a lot of things from acting,、mm. and like, like an actor. So, yeah, there's, it's, it's, I think it's related, but different.、Mm. <laughs> yeah, I was just thinking, like, if, if for example, you, would, you walked into the room and go, like, <gasps> Oni chan da! Like, you, some of the voices in Japanese anime are so cute or like so、mm. like、over the top that in English you would cringe,、mm. and in Japanese it works.、Mm-hmm. So, what do you think are the differences between voicing in Japanese and in English? Oh, yeah, that is adorable. <laughs> Please continue. You're so adorable. Thank you. Hey, no, that's a really hard question. I, I, I don't know. I think ja- because the pictures are different、um, for Japanese, Japanese anime,、um, like the animations and drawings are like, made for those kind of voices, I think. Ah,、uh, I see.、Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So that's why like, it's, it's more sweet. It's- yeah,、oh. okay, I understand what you're saying. From, from ground up, Japanese anime is built for the Japanese voice,、mm. as opposed to when、mm-hmm. it gets dubbed into English.、Mm. You're kind of taking one cultural frame and putting a different cultural expression on the top of it.、Mm. Yeah. Good point. I think that was also why there's always a heavy de- debate 
What is better,、Sabura. the English、mm. dub, the Japanese dub? People love to discuss that. You have done some German dubbing, yeah? I've, I've done some German. I mean, there is a DVD called、uh, Comic Party that was released in Germany, and my voice might be on it for a kind of a abridged kind of dub. <laughs> so we kind of made like a comedy thing out of it. Turns out they put it on the DVD. <laughs> so、uh, that's something. I also done some voice acting for jobs that I, unfortunately I can't officially talk about because <laughs> they want to keep the character still open. Open for other people to snatch the character, but I have some experience. You have said you also have some experience as voice acting. Yeah, but what I wanted to ask about is you've dubbed in German.、Mm-hmm. So、uh, do you feel something in terms of like the cultural difference between when you see Japanese anime but you dub it in German? Do you feel there's some kind of cultural mismatch or anything like that? I think what I find really interesting is I remember I had to dub myself once. Uh huh. Oh yes.、Um, it was a a show in which I was going and I was、uh, trying to meet a ninja. It was it was called Tokyo. Extra and what was the thing is like they I I voice act like the way I speak Japanese is very energetic a little bit high pitched a little bit anime so when they taught me to voice act myself in English I tried to tone it down a little、uh. bit because if you use the same kind of like full on energies it makes some people cringe because it just gets a little bit squealy and it's so interesting you kind of have to. Tone it down a little bit in the English dub. I feel because、mm. if it's too much, people will cringe. But at the same time, the studio I was with, they're like, no, 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 go full on. Like the Japanese audience was like, no, no, go squeal, put all the squeaking into it. And I'm like, are you sure? Because the Western audience will find it annoying.、Mm. So it's very interesting that、um, even if it's me voicing me, <laughs> I had to. And my feeling wise, I have to tone it down a little bit. Well, in the Japanese version, I can I can put it up to the max, and I think that's how a good explanation would be. Food programs, in、mm. Japanese, they have a bite, and it's like, oh, oishi, nani kono oisa mo yabai ya, oh, maji oishi. Like they really go, it's tasty, it's so tasty,、mm. oh my god, it's so tasty. Well, if you watch Western food programs, it's like, hmm, that's good. I did a <laughs> did a demonstration of Japanese food TV for Paul Hollywood from the UK when I shot with him, and he was so I'm going. That's the most amazing chip I've had in my life, and I'm doing it like a Japanese food program, but in English. And I just looks like a psycho. I just you just like a <laughs> maniac. It's a different form of expression, yes, yes, and they、yes. don't go together. <gasps> Oh,、yeah. this is amazing! It's almost wrapping up time. I just want to ask something before we go. Cardian, tell us about your love of museums. Oh, okay. I I love museums and I love、um, watching paintings. Oh, paintings. Okay, now okay. So you、that、are a drawer,、yes. so that、yeah. does make sense. The UK. Okay, excellent.、So、your love of illustration has brought you to a love of the consumption of visual art,、mm. and this brings you to the love of visiting museums、mm-hmm. where such visual art is on display.、Mm-hmm. Oh, well, that was summarized quickly. <laughs> All right, fine. Good stuff. Before we before we move on、um, completely. What advice would you,、uh, what would you kind of give to people who want to start voice acting? What would be your advice? After you, young lady. <laughs> um, my advice will be just um, watch a lot of anime.、Hey. Yeah, yeah. Can and, I can get behind that. Yeah, and just try to, um, because you want to become a voice actor, you will be doing um voice acting. Voice acting, you will be doing the same thing as those voice actor who appears on、um, anime. So,、uh, yeah, I think my biggest advice will be just try to be that person or try to、um, like imitate their skills, and I think that's the way you will become more、um, good at it. So、yeah. practice, practice, practice. Yes. What's your advice? My advice is get up and go and actually do it. Because、mm. so many people, particularly with voice acting, I find so many people love watching anime and they say, "Ah,、oh, I want to be a voice actor.、Mm, I want to be a voice actor."、But、what are you doing towards that goal? Nothing.、Mm. So I think you got to go and actually pursue it. You got to make your、mm. demo. You got to work hard on getting your demo good. You got to send、mm. your demo out to people. And then when、uh, you get called for an audition. Go in there and actually hit it. I think a lot of people go in scared. They kind of、mm. go in like,、oh, I've got an audition. What do I do? You know. And there was Just... a lot of wonderful ways to practice. Like with my circle in Germany,、mm. it's literally that that kind of abridged was our starting point, right? We would all get together. We'd all say, okay, let's voice this episode, and it was fun, right?、Mm. 
But at the same time, we learned how do they speak? How how would I speak?、Mm. How do I change with this character? And it's good practice without, and it's in a safe environment, so you don't have to be scared of like big auditions and all of that. You can practice with your friends in a safe environment. If you think about a bridge shows on YouTube, they're doing really popular as well. So. You know, you can start with a circle of friends doing something fun. You jo- enjoy practice and get better over time. It's refreshing to look this way at the camera. My neck's been this way for the whole whole <laughs> show. This is good neck exercise. All right, Karin, <sighs> what is upcoming? What would you like to promote? Where can people find you on the internet? Um, um, I have Twitter and Instagram account, and I think on、um, my. Don't forget. <laughs> switched over, so it's Kagami, <laughs> underbar Karin.、Uh, uh, yeah, yeah. For I think for I think for both、um, Instagram and Twitter,、um, it's ka- Kagami, Kagami, underbar, underbar Karin. Yes. So please check it out. <laughs> yeah. Karin with an I. Yes. And it、Karin. both starts with the K.、Mm. K. Wonderful. And do you have do you have anything you want to tell the viewers? Do you have anything, anything you want to plug?、Watch? You want us probably to watch D for DJ. D for DJ and card fight Vanguard Waldress. Fantastic! Thank you so much for coming today. It's、Thanks、wonderful to、here. talk to you. It's、Thank、been a pleasure. So yes. So, Kathy Cat, tell the people the things. Kathy Cat under Bar TV on Twitch, on Twitter, on Instagram. Uh, all the shenanigans. I stream regularly on Twitch. I do YouTube videos for YouTube, but I also am on NHK World for Japan Railway Journal, where we talk about the best thing of railways. So if you have NHK World, be sure to tune in on Thursdays. And not just that, we also have Lady Beard. Lady Beard underscore Japan on the shenanigans. Don't forget Baby Beard underscore Japan also on the shenanigans. Don't forget Cat with Beard from Japan on every shenanigan you can possibly yeah, imagine. Thanks for listening. Get your ugly fork. Do, <laughs> Get your ugly fork. We've been over episode thirty, which means we have to have an ugly fork somewhere. We appreciate every one of you viewers and、uh, for tuning in. There would be no podcast without you. Thank you for being here. I appreciate here, my、All、co-host Kathy Cat. She's the greatest you, co-host. And I you both have. And Cardin, thank、here. you so much、thank、for coming、so. today. We'll see you next time on Cat. With, with beard. beard, see you on the YouTube as well. We have a YouTube channel.、Now. Clickety clack the comments、Cat、and things, please.、Yes. Ring the bell. Thank the you、subscribe. also for being here. And I'll catch you soon for another episode of Cat with Beard. Bye. Goodbye.